Support the channel by clicking on the links down below. In today's video I'm going to show you how to use a gamepad in Game Maker Studio 2. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Sparkman, so let me show you something. This here is my gamepad. I use this for gaming, you know, the buttons, they all work fine. So guys, my voice is not back yet, so uh, I'm going to keep this short. Okay, so this should work for any gamepad. So let me close this here. Now we're gonna use the same project we've been using for the past videos. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go to add event, step event. Scroll down to controller. If our button is down, select the button. In this case, it's going to be the right button. Let's do a jump to point. Five pixels. Click relative. And let's run it. Okay, so I'm going to use my controller. Show you that uh, I'm using my controller. And you can see that that works fine. Let's do one for the left. Jump to point. Select left. And let's do minus 5 pixels. Check relative. And that works fine. So now we can probably just uh, uh, scale. Minus one for the left. Oops, did that backwards. Set this one to minus. And that works fine. Wow, so easy. Now you can do the same thing for other buttons, okay? You can uh, set up a walking animation, uh, like I got done here, with the um, with the keyboard. But I'm not gonna do the whole thing, so just let me show you how it works. Now I'm using the keyboard now, and that's because we already made these controllers. So basically, you can repeat the same thing using step event. So there you go, guys. You can see that this is uh, extremely simple. Alright guys, you can support this channel by clicking on the links down below. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. See you in the next video. Bye now.